Yo, yo, hey guys, Smallmouth Crush. I know chatterbaits work great, but I'm gonna give you a little tip when it comes to fishing around rocks, and that's the Z-Man football head chatterbait. The CFL, it's called. It has put some really good fish in the boat for me. It's a unique way to fish a chatterbait, so let's see if we can catch a few fish that's all coming up. So I'm using a 3 8 ounce swinging head, football head, chatterbait. I got a little uh, craw trailer on the back of it. Gives it a little bit of kick. And all I'm gonna do is work this rocky steep bank here. I'm gonna make a cast about a 45 degree angle. I'm gonna let it fall. There's about an eight foot drop here. And so what I'm gonna do is just drag that chatterbait over the bottom. So the blade's kicking and I'm just dragging it and bumping along the rocks. Let's see if we can get a bite doing that. These fish should be loaded up on this drop here. But I can feel the, the chatterbait hitting the rocks. I can feel that blade kicking. And now I'm dragging it just like you would a football head. But every time I'm dragging it, that blade on that chatterbait is giving it a little bit of flash, a little bit of vibration. And that's what will keep these fish into that bait. And of course the craw on the back is kicking. And I'm just working it along. Well back in studio I was editing this video. I realized there was a lot of wind noise. And so I wanted to take some time to go a little bit more in depth about this chatterbait. Because it is, um, I'm excited about it. Uh, what, what I like about it is it's going to allow you to work a chatterbait in areas where I haven't worked a chatterbait before or at least not as efficient as I could uh, in the past. So now with this swinging football head, I'm able to drag that bait, and you, you've seen in the video here how I'm working it. I'm either dragging it like you would a football head, or I'm actually making a cast and just slowly ticking the bottom with that. And there's a variety of ways. There's not a wrong way to fish this chatterbait. You can still burn this bait. In fact, this heavier compact profile uh, with that head is gonna allow you to burn it and keep it I, I believe a little bit deeper in the water column than a traditional uh, chatterbait. And another nice thing, we kind of mentioned this in the video, was the fact that you can change that hook out. So for instance, you know, I like a pivot head, a football head, pivot head, and drag a creature bait. Well, guess what? I can take this hook out. I can put a, a four odd extra wide gap or a three odd, whatever the case may be, Texas rig uh, a creature bait and I still have the blade to give me a little bit more tr uh, traction. So you got a lot of things going here with this bait. Uh, I'm flat out convinced that it's gonna be in my arsenal this coming season. Uh, like I said, I, I haven't thrown it in the past, but I am a huge fan of the Chatterbait CFL, bladed football jig is what it's called right here. There he is. Not a bad chunky smallmouth. Now what's cool about these is you can actually replace the hook as well. So if you want an extra wide gap hook, it appears that this hook, jeez, there it is, wow. So that's a nice little fish. Impressive hook. That hook that came with it is pretty stout. So obviously I'm bundled up guys. It's May, but it's cold. We're way up north. And I'm excited about this new, uh, this is the first time I use this chatterbait. But this will work good, I feel, in grass when you have some rocks in the summer. Uh, fishing some deep, deep structure, offshore structure. Uh, this chatterbait's really gonna excel there. Now that first bite, that fish felt, that fish just ate it. So on this particular day, I was pairing this chatterbait with the Z-Man Turbo Cross. It, it gave it really nice action to the bait. I paired these two together here. I just run that up the hook. Let it come out. 
you know with that with that plastic it's real important to make sure it's on there straight but I mean it's that simple guys this was a deadly combination what's nice about this plastic about the Z-Man trailers is the durability so you're gonna get fish you're gonna have you're gonna catch a lot of fish with this and you're not gonna have to train change trailers I'm out there and I'm just Jason basically dragging it just like you would a football jig except every time you can see the vibration of that rod tip every time I pull that bait that blades just moving you can see I'm getting hung up in rocks and I'm just slowly dragging it along the bottom That's not a bad fish. Hooked really good. Look at that. Love it. You can certainly swim this as well. Real slow. So another approach if you want you cast it out and I'll just do a real steady retrieve there he is so I was just swimming that on the bottom I can't keep up with this fish there we go and look at how they're eating that deep all right guys so two ways to throw this bait one is you're gonna drag it just like you would a football jig drag and stop or just point the rod tip down a slow steady retrieve and I can feel it bumping along the bottom right now and when you get a bite it's it's at least today it was just a big thump And they just nailed it. Now how about a straight retrieve and then kill it? If there's a fish following it, engage the reel again. So again, just this time here, I'm just doing a straight retrieve. I can feel that chatterbait just bumping along the bottom. Super, super slow. I'm just crawling that. There's a bite. I missed them. football head chatterbait if not I encourage you guys to give it a try it's definitely put some fish in the boat for us today and as always until next time we'll see you guys on the water